Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. All right, guys, so we're doing a Michael sample. Unfortunately, though, we lost our boxes, and John put all the samples on the wall. So I didn't lose them. I just... He put them on the wall. Got them up there. So John just grabbed one and gave it to me, and here it is. Did I get something good? Alberta Premium Cast Strength Rye. Ooh, Whiskey of the Year, Jim mm. Murray. You want to hear some interesting notes and wording? Go look at his review on it. Mm -hmm. He has some sexual terms in there. Sexual yeah. terms. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. That's rude. Ooh. Mine. That reminds me of Pendleton, but mm -hmm. higher proof. Pendleton 1910. Wow. This smells really good. Very fruity. Very grapey. Nice oak. Very alcoholy. Well, it's 120 something proof, isn't it? Um, 132. Whew. Didn't know Canadian whiskey gets up that high. Dang, that's making my nose burn. They don't get much heat up there, so that must be distilled to a high proof to begin with. I don't know the laws and stuff about Canadian whiskey. I don't know either. I have a whole book on it that I've been reading. But... They do what they want. So it's very it's very alcoholic on the nose, but it's a little bit peppery, um, slightly citrusy, very grapey to me. I get a little maple syrup. Why is that? I get that with a couple. I don't know Canadian whiskeys. It's not something that's in my head. I actually get that. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I guess. It's something like a a medicinal -y, like. I get a slight spearmint. There's a very 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 faint mintiness to it. This is like a, it's not pine, it's not eucalyptus, but it's something in that family. It's minty. It's not. Not like. It might be like a fresh mint. That's what I'm saying. It's not like potent like a spearmint gum or mm. something. It's just a very. It's well aged. You can definitely get the wood on that. Mm hmm. Hmm. You want to dive into that one? Ugh. I got a cut on my tongue still. I'm a little tipsy from the three or four videos we did before this. Mm. Wow. Mm. Ooh. That is potent. That tastes very briny rye to me. That's very briny, very, very toasted rye, rye. Very uh Apple very meat. clean, very fruity. Very strong apparently. Very strong. Um so that kind of took my breath away a little bit. Um I'm not used to drinking that high of proof, and the stuff that I do drink that's up there is usually pretty smooth. This is smooth, but you can uh, definitely get the alcohol. I don't, on I don't it. say this one's smooth. This no. one's hot. It's hot, but it's I smooth. I say that in a good way. It's very, it's not even hot as in a lot of alcohol. It actually warmed up my mouth. Yeah. That was, it tingled on my lips, and it prickled in my mouth, and it just kind of cut through everything in my mouth. Um, it has a very nice, clean, oily viscousness it's to it and it oily. just moves through mm -hmm. and that's why i'm saying where the smoothness comes through yes it is hot yes it is proofy i am not going to take a second drink <laughs> i'm good that'll put me on my ass quicker than anything else here well you run out of gas in your car i bet you could start it with this bet <laughs> i put money on it it's got a nice black pepper note yes Rye toast. I have that like tickling the back of my throat right now. I have the rye on my jawline and I have this like little pepperiness like right back. This in my one is gullet. super oily and it's making my whole mouth just keep watering over <laughs> yeah. and over. Very interesting. It's um, good. Um, I don't see it as a whiskey of the year type of thing. If it was like a, a category wise, definitely Canadian whiskey of the year. Okay. But he's he always puts out a whiskey of the year that's so far out there people are just meh one year it was 1792 full proof and i did agree with it that is super good i remember that but 
They were still better that year. So I did some research on this way back when, when we got all of these samples. Um, this is sourced from local grain and water. It is 100% all rye. Um, it is at least five years old and is usually around $70. And it was starting its original release in 2019. Um, I do have a picture at here. At least five years. At least five years. This bottle is pretty pretty outlandish it's very yeah. eccentric and i'm here for it the label is super uh, labels very clean and kind neat. Of boring to me but the bottle yeah. is kind of the bottle pretty. is beautiful i love the bottle i'm here for it that's got to be a <clears throat> higher age than five i get a lot of wood on that for the then Canadian again climate you never know it's Canadian. where is alberta is that down by toronto Mm -hmm. I look Canadian too. I'll look it up. I have some Canadian in me. Well, great for you. I don't I'm know straight out of Dutchland. Me. You better cool it. Netherlands. Yeah, I'm like ninety percent Dutch, but um, a little bit of everything else. I have a smidge of um, Irish German. I'm like twenty five percent Irish German, and then I have. 75% Dutch. I'm I'm just mostly Dutch. I went back on my family history. My mom's side's a little scattered. My dad's side, everywhere I went, it was Netherlands, Netherlands, Netherlands. So Alberta is actually over by like uh, Wyoming, North Dakota, that area. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Okay, well, there's that. I'm <laughs> impressed. I like it. I'm happy you like it. This is a little too hot for me, and I'm. Do you know the price on this one? Around seventy. That's why. That's not bad. I would pay that for it. Without a doubt. But I wouldn't drink it. I'd buy that for him. I'd drink that. <laughs> I mean, it is a very, very good rye. I man, I'm, I'm the Canadians in their in their rye. I'm here for it. Why don't you do me a favor? Because this one's hot, and I've never really done much of this before. Ew. A little bit of water. Pour a little bit in there. Pour a little that bit. That might in. be a little too much water. Chill for a little. Just a little bit. Like that? Yeah, that probably cut the proof. You do a little more. Probably cut that down to around a hundred proof. Let's see how you like it there. That should open up some good flavors. Kind of muted the nose. Still very peppery and mm. very tongue tingly, but that is. That kind of brings it down to your sweet spot. That brings it down to where I can tolerate it. I like it where the distiller, master distiller, wants it to be. That's still very hot though. Yeah, it's hot. I bet you I got we got that down to a hundred proof. But um, still, this one I bet you is going to be delicious with added water, a drop or two. Bet you it'd be delicious with an ice cube. Uh huh. If I were to drink this, I would need it over ice because it's I don't do very ice. Hot. Um, I wouldn't mind it like this. If it's a hot day, I'd add a drop or two of water. Yeah. Don't really do that very I often. I would sit by the pool with it because I'm already feel like my skin's on fire right now. It's a good whiskey. I'm impressed. It is. I have been more and more impressed with Canadian ryes. I will say. My favorite is Pendleton. Pendleton is so good. Yeah. And we got that bottle for so cheap. <laughs> yeah. But it was it like is less so than half good. Off. It was like 25 bucks. I think mm -hmm. or 20 bucks. We got it so cheap. But oh I wish we would have bought the other one. Kind of has this, like there. a similar flavor profile, just way higher proof. Yeah. Wonder if I know it's the same region. Wonder if it's like the same distillery or maybe Could the be. the area that gets similar that notes. Same, right. Interesting. Well there it is, guys. And I, you know. Thank you again, Michael, for sending mm -hmm. the sample as always. But I like it. I'm I'm hitting on these on these Canadian rides. I'm here for them. I'm impressed. Keep it up, Canada. I'll take it. There I you have your it. Pep talk. Yes. <laughs> so that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.